like the only one left here in the Chicago area. Well, Tim calls me out of nowhere. What's going on? I said, Tim, I told him the situation. Wait, hang on, hang on a second here. All right. Beanie acquired. I think we're ready for the rest of this segment. He said, well, I can give you a job making 48000 a year. 48 <laughs> Oh, my oh God. I love that. I love that. You could make more money being the manager of a Trader Joe's. That is an embarrassingly small amount of money. That is just the best. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to keep that on the screen for now. <laughs> I fucking love that. I said I needed that. And if he couldn't help me, I'd have to find something else. I'd go away, probably go to a women's shelter. But it was weird. And so, and I didn't want to put my kids through that. So he told me that he would not contribute to a slave state. He did not want to give me any money because he did not want to contribute to a slave state. Oh, my he God. He told his sister that he's not going to give her money. Because he doesn't want to contribute to a slave state. Um, okay. <laughs> what? I don't want to just make this video just to shit on my brother. I do love him, but hey, he's not him anymore. So when Tim goes on these speeches about his upbringing and his roots and how he's never changed, well, here is his motherfucking flesh and blood saying he's not who he used to be. This is a different guy. I don't recognize him anymore. That's what she's saying. I think, and like I said on Adam's thing, um, I think he needs to take a step back and really look at the person he's become because he's not Ooh. that person anymore. I mean, I know him and I weren't close already, you know? So, it just sucks because the... the, the t Maniacally doing the dishes while she's trying to ruin her brother's reputation. This is a fucking psycho woman. This lady's nuts. That I knew, at least the, the Tim that I somewhat, like, you know, had some kind of relationship with. Just, damn, this is a different Tim. I don't know. And uh, I didn't, I, I know Tim said my kids were welcome in his house. It didn't really feel that way. Oh, I love this, too. It didn't feel that way. My kids felt uncomfortable in your house, Tim. Oh, this is such good family drama. Things worked out really well. And, um, for my kids. And, uh, I didn't, I, I know Tim said my kids were welcome in his house. It didn't really feel that way. Yes. Um, my daughter was laying flat on the rug, covering her face. She was scared. Because there was, like, a bunch of people. There was, like, 12 to 15 people or something, like, standing around. And she was screaming and crying. And she, like I said, she was really tired. I mean, I don't know. And so... Yeah, um, I, I mean, yeah, a two-year-old... You know who's been in fucking... You know who's been in the cast castle? Do you know the types of fucking characters? You're going to fucking you're going to bring a 2 and a 5-year-old into a house with this guy? Should consuming child porn be legal? I think that that would be yes, more legal and more ethically consistent. Yes. So, Lisa Pool, she is the manager of the house, so she has all these tasks, she has to put all the boxes away and everything. And so now she has a 2 and a 5-year-old and you have fucking you have Vosh in the side of the room like the, the dude from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That's what he wants to do to her kids. It was like, I felt really embarrassed, okay? Because like my kid is screaming, you know? And all these people are like, like only one guy out of a whole bunch had kids, so he understood. But Now she's saying that everybody that surrounds Tim Pool is childless. That's that's a really bad look. That's that's like some lib ass shit. If like all your friends, none of them have kids and they're all in like a polyamorous relationship. Yeah, it sounds like you might be friends with Vosh. I went to go comfort her and Tim yelled at me not to. And he's like, No. Do not comfort your child. Touch me, Lisa, don't go over there. And I was like, Tim, I have to go talk I have to go get her. I'm gonna No, don't. Don't touch her, Lisa. First off, it's not his kid. That's what was really Ooh. And, um, and he said, I don't go do that. And I'm like, why? Why? And he's like, because that's what mom would do. So 
I, I was like, what? I was like, yeah, because mom did such a bang up job. And he goes, huh, huh, I'm a fucking millionaire. He said oh! that from all of his employees. It was I, I couldn't get out of it. Oh this my stuff. God. So I, I packed up my stuff. I got a pod. What a fucking asshole. Came back to Illinois. Things were great. And I ended up meeting a woman on social media who used to work for him. We're going to call her Shmashmina. I said in that TikTok, we bond over the abuse. She, he, man, what he did to her was really awful. What he did to her was really awful. She did not deserve what he did to her, but that's not my story to tell. Tim ends up finding out that we were talking. And at the same time, he's getting swatted. But I didn't appreciate him calling me up when I'm in the car with my kids. I've got my girlfriend's son in the car and her seven-year-old, my five and two-year-old and my 13-year-old, and we're all on the way home from a long day. Now, if any of you have children or have been with a gang of kids all day at the zoo, it is exhausting. It's really exhausting. Yeah, Tim would not know. Call me now. Tim and I, Tim does not talk to me. He, nor has he ever, he doesn't just call me or text me. And this was, this was like a while after I left his house. Out of nowhere, out of the blue. So, uh, I was like, what? And I texted him back. I was at a red light. And I said, I'm driving right now. And I have the kids in the car. Um, I can't, you know. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't. And, and so I can't, I can't talk, talk, talk to you. So, he was like, well, the FBI or the cops are on the way to my house right now. Oh my God, the FBI is coming to your house right yeah, now? Fine. So I call him. I'm like, fine. What do you want, Tim? And he immediately, the first thing out of his mouth is, why are you talking to Shashmina? And I was like, what? And he started yelling at me, raising his voice, saying I was a fucking idiot in front of my children. I told him, by the way, that there were kids in the car. And uh, that seemed to like go over. Oh, God, can you imagine? Tim Pool's mom comes out with a video about how bad he is. Oh, God, that would be so fucking fun. Yes. Dude, I didn't know the whole time that my 13-year-old recorded it. I had no yes! idea. Yes! Uh, so that was funny. Oh, my God, release um, the tape, release the to... tape! Because I, I had to copy this video where Tim is so screaming in a, such an abusive manner manner he was accusing her of being the swatter abusive being the swatter um I, tim I, thinks his sister is gonna swat him do you know how fucking insane and paranoid you have to be to think that your your own flesh and blood sister is gonna swat you i love the scorned sibling plot line and tim was screaming at me on the phone just you know why are you talking to shashmina and i'm like i didn't know you why are you friends with her on Facebook? And everybody vouched for her. You, nobody told me who she was when I, I worked there for months. It was insane. So I had to block her, and I had to stop talking to her. Um, he, the way he spoke to me, it's like he was interrogating me like he was a cop. Wow. And then 12 hours later... That's like exactly... Oh, my God, that's so funny because that's how Kanye felt, too. Kanye felt like Tim was in, interrogating him like a cop. And Tim... Blew my phone up again 12 times. I was on my way home from the park with my kids. And Tim blew my phone up. like really scary. And then he blew my phone up again from another phone number. And I was like, no. Not after the way he spoke to me. No. Not at all. I am not going through that shit again. Saying, the only way Tim knows how to talk now is like rhetorical tricks. You know? Imagine like using like one of your rhetorical tricks on your, on your sister and on your mom. We're going to have a relationship with my brother again or my mother. Or for Chris, you know? Or with Chris. I don't know. And it really sucks. I am much happier that they're not in my life. Um, and it's really funny because I, I have a turkey platter my mom gave to me. I guess it had been in the family, I think, quite a few years. And it cracked this year. It cracked on my dining table during Thanksgiving. And boy, if that's not symbolic, I don't know what. That turkey platter being cracked, it's, it was crazy. Because it's like, it broke and my family is broken. <laughs> it's like you know i got three brothers man i can't imagine in a million years fucking any of them getting on camera graham colin or aiden i can't imagine any of them getting on camera 
and making a YouTube video about how they're happy about never seeing me again. And I don't think this family can ever get repaired. Oh, no. Tim, I want the Tim back. Uh, you were teaching my daughter a magic trick. You you were funny. You were just a better person. Um, go on vacation. Go. You have the money. Just go. Go on vacation and take a break from all of that political crap. Because I think you need it, buddy. And then there's me. And, uh... I couldn't even get him or Chris to call and say happy birthday to my five-year-old.